traveling salesman problem. The problem is to find the shortest tour through n cities that visits every city exactly once. In order to find this shortest tour, you are required to find the shortest Hamiltonian circuit of the graph. Now we'll see what is Hamiltonian circuit. Hamiltonian circuit is defined as a cycle that passes through all the vertices of the graph exactly once. Now we'll see how to solve this problem using branch and bound design technique because this is combinatorial and optimization problem. Since it is a minimization problem because you are required to minimize the tour length, you are required to find out the lower bound. Lower bound equal to seal of s by 2. Now we'll see how to find out the lower bound initially. So tour starts with a here. From A, you can reach to city B and C with minimum tour length. That is A to B it is 3 and A to C it is 1. So from A, best possible values are 1 and 3. Similarly from B, 3 and 6. From C, it is 1 and 2. From D, it is 3 and 4. And from E, it is 2 and 3. So the same thing is being written. Total is 28 divided by 2 is 14. This is the lower bound you can achieve or this is the least possible tour length you can achieve for this given instance of the problem. Now from A you can go to B or you can go to C or you can go to D or you can go to E. We will see all possibilities. So in case you go to B what is the uh, lower bound and in case if you go to C what is the lower bound and D and for E. So that is we will see how to calculate that. Now from A to B if you want to decide to go to B then A B if you include and B A also should be included. A to B, B to E must be included. For the node A, A B is included. So similarly you include B A here. Okay, so uh, if this is similar to the first one only. First, what you have found the lower bound, the same values total will be 28 divided by 2 is 14. And in case if you decide to go to C, then the lower bound can be calculated like this 1 AC should be included, similarly, CA should be included. If you include that, there is no difference here. Whatever you have calculated the lower bound initially, the same thing. Therefore, this is equal to 14 only. Again from A to D. If you decide to go to D, then DA also should be included. Okay, AD, DA. Replace AB with here AD and here this 4 is replaced with da value that is da is 5. Look at here, here to here there is 2 difference here 1 that is 3. There is an increase in 3 so add 3 to this 31 by 2 that is equal to 16 because you are required to take the seal of this value and from a to e if you want to go, then AE should be included here. From A, the first minimum choice is 1. And instead of taking the minimum value, what I am taking is A to E. Because we are deciding to go to E. AE I have considered. Include that AE. Once you have included AE here, and EA also should be included. So in the node E, you have to include the H E A. So replace this 3 by 8. So here there is 5 increase. And here 5 increase totally 10 increase in the value. Add 10 to this that is 38 by 2 it is equal to 19. Look at here. If you decide to go to B. Then the lower bound is 14. If you decide to go to C. Then it is 14. And if you decide to go to say D, 
a to d then it is equal to 16 then from a to e the lower bound is 19 same thing is written in the state space tray a to b a to c a to d and a to e and a to c also same thing lower bound equal to 14 but since b appears first so we are considering this node with this we are extending the branch okay so here a b a c a d a e out of all these four nodes this is the best choice we have made so from here i'll just plan to once you decided to go to b you have only three choices either you go to c or you are required to go to d or you are required to go to e okay so calculate the lower bound in case if you decide to go to uh, from b to c then b c c b should be included that means in the node b consider the first lower bound what you have calculated calculated here the same thing you consider here because for a for the node a one and we decided to include a b h a b is included here and for b again a b is is to be included a b is the uh, must and should edge in you know, for the node b and from b you need to go to c so here if you go to c 6 the length of the edge is 6 and from c you have to include cb also so cb if you include that it is 6 here there is no increase here there is an increase in 4 therefore add 4 to this 32 by 2 it is 16 okay next from b you can go to c then the lower bound will be 16 if you decide to go to d we'll see what is the lower bound b to d is 7 when you include 7 here even d to b must be included here so here d to b is included here so there is an increase in one unit here three one plus three four for this add four to this value it's equal to 32 32 by 2 is 16. again here uh, you are required to find out the lower bound from b if you decide to go to e then here include b here if you include b the length is 9 and here for the node e you have to include eb 9 9 here for 6 there is an increase in uh, length 3 here there is an increase in length 6 3 plus 6 9 for this if you add 9 to this 37 37 by 2 is actually 18.5 since you are taking seal of this it will be 19 the same thing that is if you decide to go to c lower bound will be 16 if you decide to go to d lower bound is 16 if you decide to go to e lower bound is 19 same thing is written in the state space string these two are the best possible values so we'll see the optimal tour length since a b c from a to b b to c you decided here from here to here a to b and from here you have taken a decision that uh, it's a best possible value that is a to b b to c so once it is decided to reach to c then only two cities is left out that is d and e either you have to go to d first or e first so once you go to D, then obviously you are required to go to E. This is the only remaining city. Then you have to go back to E. Here, A, A to B, B to C, C to E. And then you have to go to D. 
and then you have to come back to A itself. Similarly, if you have decided to go to A to B, B to D, then the alternative is, look at here, A to B, B to D, the left out cities are C and E. Obviously, from D to C, if you decide to go, then the left out city is E. You have to go to E and then you have to go back to A. Then the other alternate solution is A to B, B to D, D to E, then C to A. Like this, we will see the what are the tour length here. No need to find out the lower bound because here you have only two choices. When you have only two choices, either you have to go to first city or second city. Once you have decided to go to one of these two cities, then the left out city you have to visit because there is no other alternative. Then you have to come back to the city with which you started the tour. So this is what you are required to do in this. So we will see how this value is achieved in this diagram A to B, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E and E to A. Then the tour length is 24. If I do the tour length uh, tour like this, A to B, B to C, C to E, it is A to B, B to C, C to E, E to D and D to A, tour length is 19. Then from A to B, B to D, then D to C, C to E and E to A, tour length is 24. And here from A to B, B to D, D to E, E and E to C, C to A, tour length is 16. So these are all the possible tour lengths with this lower bounds. But this is not optimal and this is much better. But this is the optimal tour length. That is how you need to uh, travel from A to B, B to D, D to E. E to C and C to A. In case if the traveling salesman travels the cities in this way, he can achieve the tour length equal to 16. This is how you can find the solution using traveling salesman uh, for traveling salesman problem using branch and bound design technique.